Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an organization policies are preventing us from completing this action from you. Error in Microsoft Outlook. So hopefully this should be a pretty quick tutorial and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the start menu. Just left click on the start button one time and you want to type in internet options. One of the best matches should come back with internet options right above control panel. Just left click on that one time. Now you want to go and left click on the advanced tab at the far right. And then you want to go and left click on the reset button down here versus reset internet explorer settings. Reset the internet explorer settings to their default condition. Left click on reset. And once you've done that, I would also suggest checking inside here to do delete personal settings. Left click on reset. This will take a couple seconds to run, so please be patient. And then once it's done, you can close out of here. I would go back and see if you're still having this issue. Now, if you are still having the problem, I would suggest going back to Star Menu. Type in RegEdit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back or RegEdit. You want to right click on it. And left click on Run as Administrator. When you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. I would highly suggest creating a backup of your registry before you proceed, just as a good rule of thumb. And how to do that, you just go up to the file tab at the top, left click on it, left click on export, name this file whatever you want, so I'm just going to call it backup, saving it to my desktop here, left clicking on save. So if you ever needed to go back and change it to basically re-importing it, it's as simple as just going up to the file tab up at the top again and left clicking on it and then left clicking on import. It's just creating the backup right now as we speak, so pretty straightforward. And like I said, so I'm just going to the file and then import. And then you just would select the backup and then just walk through the couple prompts that follow. So not too much involved. So basically now that we're at this point, you want to go expand the H key classes root folder. So double click on that. Or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand. And now you want to locate the .html. So scroll down here, right here. Just left click on this one time. Now you want to go and see this default on the right side. You want to double click on it. You want to make sure it says HTML file in the value data. So again, HTML file, all one word. Left click on OK. So again, make sure that's correct. And there's also a Microsoft Easy Fix tool as well that I will include in the description of the video. However, those only are applicable for Windows 7 and earlier editions. And I'm on a Windows 10 virtual environment here, so I can't really demonstrate that. But just wanted to put that out there. I will include that in the description of the video. So I'm trying to give you guys as many different options as possible, or at least as reasonably possible. So I do hope that one of the methods I went through in this tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.